Good day everyone. Here is our research proposal presented to the Maritime Education Department entitled Factors that Contributes to Help Deck Cadets in TIP Manila for Online Learning. Here are the group members. Almares Dennis, Garcia Mark Vinson, Graza Ezekiel, Ocampo Kervin, and Miss Tazan Jane. And here is the background on how we developed an interest in our topic. Due to the global pandemic, COVID-19 has led the people, including the cadets and maritime professors of TIP Manila, to adapt and improvise learning via internet. The traditional way of learning was substituted by online learning. This, this study aims to know what factors that contributes to help the cadets in TIP Manila for online learning. Sa panahon natin ngayon na dulot ng COVID-19 ay maraming mga bagay na hindi inaasahan at yun na nga ang pagkatanggal ng face-to-face -face classes. At ngayon, nag-adapt ang TIP upang makapag-aral ang mga kadete via online. And now, here is the purpose of our study. What we want to achieve. Ano nga ba ang mga bagay na gusto naming makamtan bilang researchers? Know what's the behavior of cadets which helps them to study using technology. Find the right way to improve the learning of cadets at TIP Manila. Spread positivity that in the end, all cadets will surpass this pandemic. The problem, what we want to solve. What helps cadets of TIP Manila to surpass this crisis? Ano nga ba ang mga tumutulong sa mga kadete upang malagpasan ang nararanasan nating crisis ngayon? How's the performance of the cadets with the use of online platform? We researchers want to inculcate to the cadets that after we have garnered the data, we want to make them realize that at the end of the day, all hardships will be finished. Meron nga ang kasabihan na there's a rainbow always after the rain. Sa panahon natin ngayon, sa lahat ng ating mga nararanasang paghihirap, sa huli ay maayos din ito. Let's go with the significance of the study. The significance of the study are the participants or subject of this study. This study is deemed significant to the following. The students. To identify the factors that help students in online learning to improve academically. The second participant of this study are the parents. The parents should motivate and give moral support to their child. In this new number. Also, the third participants of this study are the professors. Professors should give or guide and mold the students not only academic but also in their field of profession. And the last participant of this study are the school administrators. Let's go with the hypothesis. There is a significant impact on the factors that help cadets of maritime department of TIP Manila in terms of hours spent in their online class. Way of learning, location, and internet connectivity. Not all student has a good quality of internet connection. Is that right? There is a two question below. Do cadets enjoy their time during online classes? What do you guys think? Do you guys enjoy online classes? And the second question is the, what contributes to help cadets amidst the pandemic with the use of platform? Are you supporting online classes? What do you guys think? Let's move on to the project timeline. The project timeline or the chronological order of our event. It was started at the fifth day of October 2020 with the chapter one which was the creation of our title. And we continually do the chapter two at the date of October 19 with the same year. 
It was focuses on the related literature and related studies. Lastly, we gather all the data, survey, and finishing the touches by the date of October 30, 2020. The design and procedures, data collection method. The researchers use primary data on gathering data by collecting it from the respondents, which are part-time students in TIP Manila. Data will be done through online survey provided with questions to answer by the respondents. The first step is that we survey the maritime students. Certain information that will be the proper method. The last step is to conclude the research using the gathered data. So the research design diagram. First is that we study the current practices, identify the defects, analyze characterizations and conclusions. The findings result statistical data is that the gender are 28 are male and 2 are female. The ages are 19 people are 21 years old. 19 people are 20 years old. One person is 19 years old and one person is 23 years old. The findings result statistical data. What is your year level as ABS MT student? 30 responses, 100% from third year and 0% from second year. How do you feel overall about distance education? 30 responses, very poor, we have 6.65%, poor is 20%, average 50%, good 16.7%, excellent 6.65%, over 30 responses. So what device do you use mostly for distance learning? So the choices are laptop, desktop, tablet, and cell phone. So sa laptop, we have 26.7%. Desktop or the personal computer, we have 46.7%. The tablet, 0%. And the cell phone is 26.7%. That is also out of 30 responses. So how much do you time spend each day on an average on distance education. So we have one to three hours, three to five hours, five to seven hours, seven to ten hours, and ten up hours. So first, uh, one to three hours, we have 13.3%. Ang inespent nila yung oras sa online class. So, dun sa 3 to 5 hours, we have 23.3%. 5 to 7 hours, we have 56.7%. And dun sa 6.7% is 7 to 10 hours. And then dun sa last, na 10 hours pataas, is 0. Or wala nang nag-spend ng time nila na 10 oras pataas. So last is, do cadets enjoy their online classes? Yes or no and why? So based dun sa 30 responses namin, 50% yung yes, na enjoy nila yung online class, then 50% dun sa hindi nila na enjoy yung online class. Then, dun sa nag yes, uh, yung reason nila is, because I can relax myself and I can manage my time accordingly. Next is, it is easy for us students to attend class. Mostly, I'm not late and absent. Because I can manage my time. So, dun sa sumagot ng no. So, the reasons are because of my location and we have poor connection. Next is because it is much more tiring 
there are so many distraction and I can focus. The last one is because I prefer face to face rather than online class. So that's all. Thank you. Uh, these are the findings and results that we've got on our survey that we conducted. Uh, these are the factors that contributes to help cadets and cadets to study amidst the pandemic via online learning. So, 23 out of 30 respondents, uh, they said they have fast internet connection. Uh, 24 out of 30 respondents, they said they have peaceful and quiet environment. And 23 out of 30 respondents, they said they have a uh, understanding professors. And 24 out of 30 respondents, uh, they said they have a healthy mindset. Uh, 19 out of 30 respondents, uh, uh, they said they are being pray, uh, being pray pool. Um, 22 out of 30. Uh, to pursue to be an OIC someday and 18 out of 30 respondents they said they have good food uh, 20 out of 30 respondents they said they have a harmonious family at home um, 23 out of 30 respondents they said uh, they are motivated so these are our conclusions and uh, implications we researcher, uh, researchers have come up with our statistical data that was surveyed online by the use of Google Forms and this helped us researchers to fulfill the research project that cadets and cadets can finish their studies via online with the factors that helps them to pursue their dreams. The data that we've got, uh, garnered uh, satisfied our need to complete uh, the project with the guidance of our instruction that led us to finish the project proposal on time. So, alam, alam naman po natin na dahil sa pandemic, uh, nag nagkaroon na bere para ipagpatuloy natin yung ating pag-aaral. So, uh, alam naman, pero alam, na, alam din natin na we are living in modern world. So, wala nang imposible, wala na yung imposible. At dahil nga sa tulong na internet, uh, na ipagpatuloy natin yung pag-aaral natin kaya online class uh, uh, sa ano mahirap talaga ang mag online class pero wala tayong magagawa kailangan natin to para mapagtapos tayo so this is uh, the end of our report thank you and god bless